Hey guys, welcome to the 137th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to continue working on our button control. So, in this tutorial, we're basically going to make it so that when the user hovers their mouse over the button, um, the button's color will change to a tint of blue so that it appears as though you can click on it. It lets the user know that the button's enabled. So, what we're going to do here is go over to our button designer, select our, our control, and go down to um, mouse hover. All right, and then we're basically just going to have to copy and paste this code down here. Well, instead of copying and pasting it, we should just create a new method. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to copy this code right here into a new method, and we're just going to call that method um, draw button. And since methods are defaultly private in a class. We don't have to put private in front of it. The user won't be able to see this method anyways. So we're just going to draw the button and we're going to have the user pass through the color that they want the button to be. I'm going to say color and I'll just call it C. Alright, so instead of it always drawing just uh, through the control color, we're going to have it draw um, the color that the user passes through. Now, when it draws the top, it'll be fine, but for drawing the bottom to give it the glossy effect, it's just going to draw all the time this control light. Now what we could do is have the user pass through a second color to tell us what to draw on the bottom, but we can do something else. We can just basically make a variation of this color and just make it darker. So in order to make a color darker, all you have to do is subtract um, from the red, green, and blue um, colors. So if we subtract the same amount from all three of those, it'll just make the uh, color darker. If we add to those, it'll just make the color lighter. Alright, so what we're going to do here is we're going to say s.color equals color dot from ARGB. And then what we're going to be doing here is just basically making um, just a tint of this color. So we're going to add, uh, make it darker. So we're going to say um, the alpha will always be 255, so we can just say the alpha right here is uh, 255. Then for the red, we're going to say C dot R minus and then 13. And like I said before, subtracting will just make the color darker. And the reason that I chose 13 was what I did is I took the color control and the color uh, light control or control light and found the difference between the red and the red on the between the two reds and I got 13 so now if we were to pass control through here it would be control and then control light because we're just altering it to make it control light so we're gonna do the same now for the green so we're gonna say C dot G for the green minus 13 and same for the blue so we're gonna say C dot blue minus 13 and like I said this will just basically just make this color darker It'll take this color and make it darker and then set the brush equal to that. So then when it draws the bottom of it, it will just be darker than the top. So now when we say on paint right here, we're just going to say draw button and then we're going to pass through um, the control color so that when it draws the first time, so when you like load the form, it will be the default color. But then when you hover your mouse over it, we're going to change it to a tint of blue. Well, let's just check to see if this works first. So we're just going to say color dot from known color, and then we're just going to pass through that control. All right. So now this makes it much easier, and we don't have to deal with all this stuff. So now we debug here uh, on our form. Everything should be the same. Yep, perfect. All right. So now that we have that all set and everything's fine, we can now do stuff for when the user hovers their mouse over the button. So we're just going to call this draw button method again, only instead of passing through the control color, we're going to pass through um, a blue color of the control. Now in order to make this color um, basically more blue, we're just going to have to mess with the ARGB colors, or specifically the red, green, and blue, because the alpha will always stay 255. So we're going to say color, uh, let's call it my color equals and then color dot from ARGB 
and we're basically just going to be doing the same thing that we did down here, only instead of subtracting the same values from each, we're going to subtract different values and add some values here and there to basically just make the color um, more blue. Now, so we're just going to say color dot from ARGB, and like I said, the alpha will always remain the same, so we're going to say 255, but for the red, we are just going to say um, color dot uh, from uh, known color and then control because we want to make it a variation of this control. We just want to make it um, more blue. So to make it more blue, we're going to subtract a lot of red. We're going to subtract 30 red. Now for the, oops, I need the dot R here. So now for the uh, green, we're just going to subtract about 5, just to make it a little bit different for 5. And then we're just going to set the blue equal to the maximum, which is 255. And then we're just going to pass this color right through there. Alright, and if you really don't understand like how this works, basically what we're doing is just altering the red, green, and blue colors to make it more blue. And just mess around with this. If you wanted to make it like green or something, obviously add more green and subtract blue and red and stuff like that. You just got to mess around with it. There's no real like set way to do it. All right, so now we debug here, and the user hovers the mouse over the button. It should change to a tint of blue. Yep, perfect. Now the only thing that we need to do is make it so that it changes when the user takes their mouse away. So now we're going to say, uh, actually, we're go back to our button designer. We're going to say when the user says has the mouse leave, we're going to draw that again. We're just going to draw the control. All right. So now we debug. If I move our mouse over, we see it changes. And when we move it away, it changes back to the regular. Now, as you can see, when we put our mouse onto it, there's a bit of a delay, and that's because it needs to hover. So we're going to have it also do that or redraw it to that blue when the mouse enters. So now we're just going to go back to our uh, control right here and create one more event handler for when the mouse enters and then just redraw that blue. So now there should be no delay from when you uh, put your button or I mean your cursor over the button and when the blue shows up. Yep, perfect. So now when you hover your mouse over it, it makes it um, a tint of blue and then when we click it, we should just get a message box. Yep. And then when we move away, it's not blue anymore. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. So see you guys.